So we've all seen these epic FPV one-shots which never seem to end and reveal one epic scene after another. Usually the drone flies through a variety of places and shows different people walking along the property or somehow engaging in an activity. I've always been obsessed with these shots because they feel super surreal as this could never be achieved with a normal camera setup. These small FPV drones can fit through the tiniest objects and the opportunities are just limitless. And ambitious as I am, I decided to create the most epic FPV one shot that's out there. Welcome to a new video guys, happy to see you here and yeah today I have one big challenge which is to create the most epic FPV one shot that you just saw and yeah I'm just going to walk you through how I plan everything and how I'm going to pull this off, I'm really excited. <laughs> And yeah, after watching a lot of different videos on my Instagram feed, I finally boiled down three main ingredients that you kind of need in order to get one of these epic one-shots. First, you need a highly skilled FPV pilot to operate the drone and get all of the timings right. Second, an amazing location which offers interesting flight paths. And third, some people who can interact with the environment in order to make the shot come to life. So yeah, <laughs> I kind of have to check off all of these different steps and as I just started to fly FPV drones, I don't think that I qualify for the first point yet, but I came up with another solution and for that we have to drive to the airport. Let's go. We arrived. Let's see if they're already there. What's going on? Hey man, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here with. <laughs> Also, Just arrived and here already is busy. <laughs> Just say something. Hello, hello YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Phil and his friend Boris just arrived. And yeah, if you've watched some of my latest uh, FPV videos, you already know who this guy is. The best FPV pilot I know. I <laughs> Maybe you know only two, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know too many. So it's, it's, it's you and me. But I think that Phil is the perfect guy to pull off this one shot, so we're just going to drive back to the Finca and then we're going to talk through everything. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> he doesn't even know what I planned. <laughs> On the drive back home, I explained Phil and Boris my plan of capturing the most epic FPV one shot, and obviously both of them were down for it. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> They're not as hyped as usual, to be honest. <laughs> so now, as I teamed up with the best FPV pilot I know, it was time to check out the second point an amazing location. Yep, I have the massive privilege that my dad lives here and I always thought that this would be the perfect location to pull off a one shot. Just giving the guys a quick tour. This is the pool and this is my dad. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so cute. Like I saw you when you've been a little baby, huh? 
Yeah, yeah she, she, she's, no, she's just she's, been to the hairdresser. No, she's grown up. In <laughs> so after the boys said hi to my dad, I showed them around the property in order to give them an overview and meet all of the different animals. Here are the chickens. <laughs> And they're really cool with FPV? No, I think they're not cool with FPV at all. <laughs> did you ever fly close to chicken? Yeah, I did one time. Yeah? How do they handle it? They drop an egg. <laughs> so, what's your first impression? Can we do an epic one-shot here? <laughs> I mean, this, this place is so sick, it's gonna be awesome. Especially I see donkeys over there. So. <laughs> Obviously, there always needs to happen something in front of the drone. So, I'm just showing the guys around here and we're going to see where we're going to fly the drone through. Portos! Vamos! Come here! Are you ready for your one-shot? <laughs> <laughs> Just a stupid storm. He's like, <laughs> he's just like under pressure. <laughs> he went to the craziest gym ever. <laughs> he is always the one fighting when he's outside the fence. But if you just lift him up, then he doesn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, say, say that something? again. Yeah, he's not even looking at them anymore. <laughs> I actually think that especially those trees up there, like the palm trees, they're going to look good. You need to find like all the tight gaps and stuff, so it will be like super immersive. How tight can it be for you? Two, three millimeter left and right from the drone and then we go through. Do you believe that? We have high expectations, man. What's over here? <laughs> there are the birds. Yeah, we have a lot of animals here. Come on, jump! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, <laughs> the guys seem to love the animals and while walking to the different spots we already discussed the first ideas for our one shot. I think with this one we also have to do something. It's just like it's super high and Dude, up yeah. there we have a balcony. We can just like drop down the palm tree That's and crazy. dive into the balcony. So as our plan slowly started to form, we had to take a look at the drone which we would use to film everything. How many drones did you bring here? Mm, I think we brought eight or nine. So you brought nine drones? Yeah. Is that actually illegal? Yeah, I mean, they, all, <laughs> they always look weird when you bring like 20, 30 batteries. So for this one or this project we're gonna plan on today, we're gonna actually use our own signature drone. And so this is super small, I mean, you see the comparison to my hand because we needed an application to be super small and still carry a GoPro so we have 4, 4k video so on the drone Phil actually has a stripped GoPro so it's basically just the brain of a GoPro in order to just save weight because the more weight you have the faster the battery is going to be drained um, so yeah I think this is a super cool setup and also if he flies close to people they're not going to get hurt or donkeys or donkeys <laughs> as you can see it's super small that's why we try even you know, to go like tight places like here, so we almost This fit. is absolutely crazy. He says that he can fly his drone through here. I actually want to see, I, I want to see you doing that. <laughs> Let's have a first power up and test flight. Here. No excuses. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the dog is coming, the dogs. <laughs> well, that was the moment when I thought, okay, we can forget this one shot for today, but I was wrong. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! I did it, huh? Just look at this, it's absolutely insane. And, and that's the reason why we have so many possibilities because Phil just knows exactly what he's doing and we can just let our minds run free and just come up with the most crazy flight path. Always when I'm with you, it's just crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that gap like doing first try? Yeah, yeah, not so, bad, not bad, man. Huh? <laughs> He's like super exhausted. <laughs> So now that everybody had their fun, it was time to get to work. And pretty quickly, we discovered the first problem. So we're just going on the roof right now to hopefully have a better overview. Windy. Super windy. It is windy. So the wind needs to calm down if you want to shoot your super tiny gaps. Yeah. Or the other option, you would fly. Then we, we could do it, we actually. We could do it yeah. right now. Oh, fuck. So. <laughs> Just drop <laughs> it. Ah. <laughs> oh, 
I'm actually playing with the thought of also going to the donkeys. We already looked for some spots where we can fly through, where we can get close to different objects, fly through different rooms, and we already came up with a with a short little story, but I think we have to refine it. We don't know 100% yet what kind of activities Boris and I are going to do, but Phil actually had a really good idea in order to really see which angles look the best, that we just connect his controller to a TV, and then Boris and I can also see what he sees, and then we're just going to discuss which part looks the best and what kind of flight path we're going to choose. So let's do that. Do we have a little bit of room for the pilot against the game? <laughs> this is so sick. I never tried it, but did you do this one here? Going through the chimney? Yeah. No. Ah, ah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. So we were thinking about going like through through that door and driving through there with the car and then Phil goes through the car going up here and inside inside the house and flying through the house coming out on another balcony and then we have to think what we're going to do afterwards but there's like 1 million possibilities to crash here is insane yeah right i mean you have to make risky shots to get cinematic shots right after seeing the whole location from above and picking the most beautiful spots, Phil and I walked along the different spots to come up with a story and think about the different activities which should happen in front of the drone. The plan is coming together. We already have a really, really cool line in our minds and now we just have to see how we can actually pull it off. And I think that actually you have to fly the line a couple of times in order to just see if it really works out the way <laughs> it How works out in our minds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is like we are only two people. So like the guys need to run around and get the different scenes while I'm yeah. flying. That's actually the third point that I mentioned in the beginning. It's about the pilot, the location, but also about the guys who are doing the activities. And especially because we're just uh, two guys, just Boris and me, we have to just run from one spot to the next one and do something else. Yeah, so we have to get all of these timings right. And I think that's also going to be a real challenge. There's people involved super tiny gaps, a quad, hopefully a donkey. <laughs> so this is gonna be like some fun action for a three-man show. So let's see what we can pull off. Boris, we have the master plan. Yeah? yeah you got it? We do. Okay. <laughs> What's new now? That is a good question, Boris. So here's the plan we came up with. The one shot starts in a small garden where Phil flies through some orange trees. At this point, I will already be driving in a car towards the house and Phil flies through the car windows. After the drone left the car, I speed up a little bit so that Phil can film this beautiful wall of flowers while I'm parking the car. Next up, the drone circles up to one of the windows where Phil enters the house. He will then fly through the bedroom of my dad and fly towards Boris, who is currently sipping his morning coffee and stretching himself. At that point, the drone will make a 180 degree turn and fly up to this big palm tree. He circles around the leaves and flies towards himself while standing on the roof and operating the drone. He will then fly through his own legs and continue down to this other small roof. Then he makes a left turn and navigates the drone through this tiny chimney which we saw earlier. At that point I will already be waiting in front of the main door so that Phil can catch me while entering the house and dropping the car keys on the table. Inside the house the drone makes a left turn and switches to following Boris who takes off his bathrobe and drops it onto the floor. As the drone leaves the house again, Phil flies over this little balcony where he catches me driving on the small dirt road on an ATV. While I break with my ATV, Phil continues to the lower part of the garden. There will be a donkey tied to a tree and Phil flies through his legs. To finish it up, the drone then rushes up to the pool area while flying through different palm trees, makes another 180 and catches both Boris and me while jumping into the pool. And then he flies into the distance as if nothing happened. So what do you think? How does this plan sound? I think we will make it, yeah? <laughs> I'm pretty relaxed. <laughs> I think the difficult part is to do it in one shot, right? But you you both guys are the actors, so you, you guys need to perform. The drone will true. be there. Like, yeah? You sure? There. I, I don't want to say anything, but let's let's see who fucks up more tries. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? How many tries are we going to need? Mm, maybe two. You said two tries. We need About five tries. Five, five tries. Five. Boris says five tries. If we have it nice, you know, I want to be like as tight and smooth as possible. He's Correct. a perfectionist, so, so even if there's just like one small shake, we're going to do it all over again. So I say, I say 12 tries. That's why we stay here for another three weeks. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
So the plan for now is to just get rid of all of the distractions, all of the things lying around so that it's just as clean as possible. Renovating the whole of property here. <laughs> Just for one shot. Is it clean enough? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, back there. Maybe also a little bit in the pool, please. Random chair. He doesn't want to clean up anything. <laughs> So this quad is also going to be a part of our line. Um, the plan is to catch myself when I'm driving with the quad. Let's just put it in place and we're going to practice all of the different steps now. <laughs> <laughs> After we put all of the dogs inside the house, it was time to practice the most difficult steps of our one shot, starting with the drone flying through the car. That's just the gap that Phil has to come through while I'm driving here. All right, so this is the first try. <laughs> I hope he's not going to crash into me. We tried it a couple of times in order to match the speeds of my car and the drone. And after a few hiccups in the beginning, Phil was able to get through the windows all the time. So what do you think? Looks good? It's gonna be good. The only tricky part right now is the wind, because like with those tight gaps, it's like... <laughs> all right, up to the next spot. Next up was the balcony scene. It was really important to practice this one as Phil needed to see the flight path inside the house. Phil's skills are just absolutely crazy. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good um, time to mention to check out Phil's Instagram channel. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff happening there, so show him some support. Also, Boris had to practice when he should start walking just by listening to the sound of the drone. <laughs> so, outfit is good? Yeah, I'm a little bit tight. <laughs> As Phil needed to have the best possible reception while flying along all of these spots, we had to find the perfect location for him to stand, which turned out to be the roof. Uh, his idea is to just stand on the top of the roof and fly through his legs. It is quite difficult for Phil to hide as he needs to have connection to the drone all the time. So we were thinking, okay, might as well just put him all the way in the shot and fly through his own legs. So we're gonna give it a try. There's just so much wind up here. I think the wind is going to be the biggest challenge, to be honest. That one was not bad. <laughs> this line flows so much. For the next spot, it was time for one of the most unpredictable parts of our shots, the donkeys. So we're just quickly going to check if the donkeys are actually scared of the drone because if they just run away, there's no use in having him in the shot, right? Those kind of animals, they don't care, so let's check Let's see. Are they scared? They're okay. They're okay? Good signs from the donkey side. Okay, plan is to put one of the donkeys here at the tree so that he is just like locked on one point. So we're just going to try to get the donkeys. This one, probably like this. <laughs> and then... Just be careful. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> so you just put the carrots down here. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> I'm actually super surprised that this works. <laughs> close it, close it, close it. Come. Ah, oh, he's coming. <laughs> I thought we would just be doing a drone shot today, but apparently we're just, tie donkey. we're just tying donkeys to trees. <laughs> all right, that should hold. All right, we looked at all the different spots. Everything's in place. Let's go for the first try. So in the first two tries, Phil tried to become as confident as possible in order to fly through all of the objects without any shakes. But pretty quickly, we realized that with this one shot, we faced not only one, but multiple challenges. Besides the insane difficulty in terms of navigating the drone and the unpredictability whether or not the donkey would play along, both Boris and I had to get our timings right. And trust me, those timings were tight. After I parked the car, I had to run to the entrance of the house where I waited for 
fill. In the meantime, Boris stretched himself on the balcony and as soon as the drone returned from the palm tree and he wouldn't be visible anymore, he had to run all the way downstairs in order to be in the living room before I entered the house. After dropping my keys onto the table, I had to run as fast as I could into the garden where I would hop onto the ATV and drive off. While Phil was flying under the legs of the donkey, Boris walked towards the pool where he waited. For me, this was a time to really hurry up as I had to get off the quad, run up the small hill, take off my shirt, take off my shoes and wait for Phil's countdown to jump. With all of these timings, everything needed to be absolutely perfect in order to get our shot. In the third try, Phil crashed into the car because of the wind and in the fourth try, my ATV just wouldn't start. <laughs> it's, it's pretty difficult, like especially with the wind and like all these different scenarios, it's crazy. So we watched back some of the shots and discussed how we could make things easier for us. What we are going to change is that the quad is going to be on already when I come down, so I just have to push on the throttle and it drives. But don't waste any time, the line is going on. So Let's go! In the fifth try, everything went as planned, except for the donkey. So Phil actually said that the timing for this one was absolutely perfect, but the donkey didn't want him to go through his legs, so he just cancelled it. But I wish we would have just jumped. Phil is a perfectionist. Let's go for the next try. And then, in the sixth try, after joining forces at the airport, coming up with the perfect flight path, preparing our drone, almost being caught by our dog and tying a donkey to a tree, all of us got our timings absolutely perfect. I think we got it. I think we got it. Phil! <laughs> Do we have it? I think we got it. We got it? Dude, the donkey one was like so close. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Holy shit! We got it. Oh my god, that was so much timing. On the one earlier, my ATV just died when I jumped onto it. But for this one, it worked out pretty well. Holy shit! That's like exactly the next thing I Honestly, it just felt so good jumping into that pool because we had a couple of tries and, and Boris and me, we were just standing down there and we were like, can we jump? Can we jump? <laughs> and he was always like, no, no. But for this one, hell yeah. So now it is the next day and yesterday we still stabilized the clip in real steady to make it look really smooth and overall I'm just super stoked with how this clip turned out <laughs> because everything just went to plan everybody got his timings right and even even the donkey played with it <laughs> so yeah huge shout out to Phil and also to Boris you can find a link to their Instagram accounts in the description and let me know in the comments if you liked how this one shot turned out um, if you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos you can subscribe and also turn on notifications and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. One thing I won't do. <laughs>